Okay. So. So I used to watch a lot of YouTube personal development content. A lot of content. And I think this is something that a lot of people struggle with. Whether you're watching personal development content or productivity content or just general entertainment, I think it's something that we all struggle with. And I found a bit of a solution. When it comes to simple entertainment, you, you've just got to get rid of it. You've just got to realize that it's not good for you and that it needs to be replaced. Yeah, I can use this to keep a track of my dog. That's Lassie. Um, so, you, you just got to get rid of it. And you need to find something to replace it. So you need to find something to replace it. And you need to make sure that you know why you are addicted to this. If it's any problem in your past, deal with it. That kind of thing. Um, but what I'm here to talk to you about today is the productivity side because you can you can watch tons of personal development, self-help and productivity stuff on YouTube, but it can be a form of procrastination, especially revenge bedtime procrastination, as it seems to be for me. And the solution I've come up to this is to be very, very, very strict with what I watch. Allow me to give you an example. Allow me to give you an example. Right now, I am not open to relationships at all. I'm open to going on a date with someone and getting to know them, but I'm not open to relationship stuff. So, it would be foolish of me and a waste of time to learn anything more about dating or attractive psychology or, or, or the way relationships work or anything like that. Don't get me wrong, that is good content. That's good stuff to research. That's good stuff to get into. Um, and it's stuff that it's really good to know. But, so yeah, that is stuff that you need to know. But because I'm not in a season where I'm looking for that stuff, it's a, it's a waste of time. At the same time, um, I am not... I've heard that it's... It's not good to be doing any kind of exercise if you've got toxins in your body. So if, I don't know, if you've eaten chocolate recently or if you've been eating any, any kind of junk food or stuff that isn't very good for you, then it's not good for you to exercise. What you need to do is you need to get that out of your system. So because of that, it's better for you to start on a good diet. Make a habit of eating better before you start a practice of, of exercise. And I'm currently not in a season where I'm trying to eat that much better. I am trying to, you know, eat healthy breakfasts, eat healthy suppers, like healthy cereals, porridge, that kind of thing, rather than like Frosties and Cocoa Pops. I am trying to drink water instead of juice but it's not it's not something i'm focusing on it's not something that i am giving myself trouble for if i fail at it's just a thing that i'm doing from time to time so you need to be very very aware of what kind of a season you're in and what kind of information is going to be useful to you there is a video by a guy called david hammond he owns the channel david hammond and the self-developed YouTube channel. Great channels. And he made a video called Three Alpha Traits Every Man Must Have. I watched it because I'm into personal development and self-help and stuff. Um, and even though I rightly predicted that I knew all three of those traits, which I won't say here because you guys can go and watch his video, but I still wasted my time doing so, not only because I knew the three habits, but because I'm not interested in trying to become more alpha, trying to develop myself in that kind of a way. And so it was a waste of time. What stuff am I open to watching, you might ask? Stuff about meditation. Stuff about 
quitting entertainment and video games and wasting time. Stuff about my faith, Christianity, um, science and faith stuff. I'm always going to be open to that. Um, that's the kind of that's really the only kind of stuff that I'm allowing myself to watch. I do watch a few things, like Elliot Hulse has some very particular opinions on masculinity and you know, male and female dynamics in relationships and stuff. And I usually find myself either completely agreeing or partly agreeing with what he says. So I, I watch his videos, admittedly, only for entertainment, but it's information I can use for uh, for later videos. But that's another thing that I want to say. I could be going around watching all kinds of personal development stuff just for you guys, just for future videos. But I have a whole list of videos that I plan to make, potentially, and and if I haven't scheduled to make them, then there's no point in me actually watching that kind of content. I should just watch it kind of nearer the time. Um, but yeah, that's just it. Just another quick talky talk. Just another quick talk talk about about that. So I hope you guys find this interesting. Uh, yeah, bye. <laughs>